Hello everybody, Stacy here. I am ready to do another four for the day and this one is gonna be uh on that canvas I don't like anymore. And I think um well I'm using my same stuff. This is all I'm it's gonna be one big bloom. Uh, that's what I was trying to say. I'm in here. I know. My son says to like and subscribe. Yeah, that'd be nice. Okay. Um, I'm going to do... Let's see. This was my previous cell activator. This black here. And I've never put black down as my first color, so I'm going to try that and see what it does. Okay. And then... Um, I'm going to try to use up these colors that I got here because... Um, I have to go run an errand. We're getting another hat. Oh my lord. We got like five. But uh, my mother has. She's in worse shape than us. She's got like 25. And um, my son wants one of hers. And so we're going to have to go over there and pick it up. And since I have to run that errand, uh, I didn't want to have to put all this paint away. I thought I'd just do a pour and then I could, um, you know, not have anything to have to clean up. So I just thought I'd use the rest of these, uh, before we go. Um, that is still really tilting. But it seems like it's tilting a different way every time I... I don't understand. Every time I do something, it seems like the tilt is in a different place. <laughs> like it's moving around. I'm put something else under the side over here. I'm just cramming trash up underneath it for now. <laughs> yeah, I'm very, very professional. Um, well, I have to kind of figure out, you know, it, I'm trying to observe it to try to figure out where the bracing needs to happen at. And it's like I said, it feels like it's different every time I put a different canvas on here. And, and maybe it is because of the positioning of the canvas on there. So, um, I'm like not sure what I need to do. It's still tilted bad. <sighs> Well, I think I started it a little bit on that left side anyway. All right, this is pissing me off. So anyway, I gotta figure out something to do about that mess. It's always something else in my project room. I'm always finding something that I need to fix or something, some way I can improve upon it somehow. It's always in some state of flux in here. This may be ugly as shit here because I'm just dumping everything I got. All right. I'm trying to arrange them in a way that they'll be pretty, but, um, I don't know if they will or not. Sometimes that happens when you just throw stuff together and you don't really have a direction with it. It turns out to be some of the prettiest things that you do. I don't know why that is, but it happens. Now I'm going to use a white cell activator this time. <sighs> uh, lots of bubbles in there. But I don't think I can torch them because... I realized in my earlier video that the torching was causing these little pinprick, um, bub, little pinprick holes, and I don't like them. Oh, that's a big one there. They didn't really seem to make a huge problem, but I don't like them. So, uh, I don't know how, what I'm going to do about all these little bubbles, because there's a shitload of them. Okay, let me see if I can do this without making a horrible mess. Uh, 
I'm gonna have to get the hair dryer because I can't bend over far enough to blow that without it getting all over the place. too powerful and it blows through a bunch of your lacing and uh, cells and stuff and I don't like it but I don't know what else to do I can't lean over there and physically blow it on maybe if I get me a step ladder I could lean in but that takes a lot of air and I don't have that much air um, the other thing is my um, okay so the hair dryer is too powerful the uh, um, what do you call it? My airbrush is not powerful enough. And the heat gun doesn't have a um, cool setting. And it has about the right pressure source of air goes, but without being able to turn it on cool, you can't use it because it torches the paint. So what am I going to do? Got to do something different. I mean, this is pretty, but I don't like, uh, I, I think I'd have better lacing. Well, this turned out pretty good. Uh, I think I'd have prettier lacing if, uh, if, um, if it didn't blow quite as hard. I don't know. I'm not sure. I mean, that's pretty. I like it. I just, um, I don't know. I'm perfectionistic, I guess. I just want it a certain way. I'll know it when I get it. And I'll get it. It's just a matter of time. I have to figure out all the little kinks. I'm gonna leave that at the bottom because I'm gonna I wanna pour off some of this green. That's a whole hell of a lot of green on there. And uh yeah, that's prettier. I know y'all can't see right now, I apologize. I'm trying to just get some of this poured off here. Um That's pretty. I gotta fix that little spot up there at the front though where that paint's not mixed. That is really hard to do. Um, I can't, I didn't get it right. I'm gonna have to just smear it over with, pour some more paint over it because it's hard to do that. Whenever you find a spot that the paint didn't exact, that it didn't blow through and mix, um, 
I, I try to blow it myself to fix it, but that can be uh, tricky. Because if you blow too hard, you go too far underneath and you expose colors of paint that aren't around it and it looks out of place. And if you um, don't blow hard enough, you don't mix, you don't fix the problem. I'm gonna make it where y'all can see, but I'm not really all that good at positioning this canvas where y'all can see all the time. I need to work on that, I'm sorry. It's all a work in progress. See, I had to cover that up because I couldn't, I tried to blow it out, but it did not work. All right, let me tilt, let all this room back down so you can see all that pretty lacing and everything. That one, that one's pretty, I don't mind that. I mean, the lacing in that is beautiful. Um, I just think that I might get more if I could adjust that air supply, just the propulsion, just a little bit. It's somewhere between the low speed on the hairdryer and the high speed. I'm not sure what I'll do. I'll have to figure something else out. But that's pretty. I like it. That's not good. I don't like that. I have to fix that better. All right. Let's get it. There we go. Most of the little air bubbles went away, I guess. Um, I'm gonna do one thing real quick. <laughs> fair to say that I can get a little bit nitpicky. Look, I just want what I want. Okay, let me let y'all see. And it's got a lot of green in it, but it's pretty. This is a wave I did yesterday. And these two I did this morning. Um, this one has got some really pretty cells. See, um, Oh, yeah, not very clear. There. And that one. Anyway, they're pretty. Um, alrighty. I'm going to turn off the big light so y'all can see better. I love my big light, but it it, uh, it makes it glare. My other lights glare, too. I don't know what to do about glare. Maybe I should put a shade on them. I don't know. Okay, now that's clear. That thing gets on the wrong setting sometimes and I don't ever notice it and then everything is really blurry and I can't figure out why. See those cells? Adding that silicone really helps because I wasn't getting a lot of cells in mine uh, before I started, look at that, before I started doing that. And I get quite a few now. I like it a lot better that way. Are those some of those little pinprick spots? I think they are. Maybe you get those even if you don't torch. I don't know. I'm going to show y'all these up close a little bit now that I got the uh, camera fixed. Because these are really pretty. I think. I don't know. This one has the little pinpricks on there. But the lacing on this was beautiful. See? on that way. That's really pretty. Anyway, thank you guys for joining me. I really appreciate it every time y'all are here. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day and join me again soon. Thanks.